So, Chris, uh, we know that the Delta IV Heavy is the nation's proven uh, heavy lifter, but when it lifts off, it seems like it's coming out of a cloud of fire. Yeah, so uh, Delta IV is hydrogen, so hydrogen being very light gas, it wants to float up large buoyancy, and then you add fire to it, sort of like hot air balloons. First thing we do is we uh, inject hydrogen down in the flame duct, light it off, and before the engines come up to power and evacuate the duct, you end up getting a hydrogen fireball that comes up the side of the rocket. So we changed the Delta IV ignition sequence to include a staggered start. Was that anything to do with uh, trying to prevent some of that fire? So it is to help, help minimize the amount of environment um, on the rocket, essentially bring it from a three-stick rocket to a single medium-stick rocket. And uh, in doing so, we reduce the char on the side of the rocket. Uh, what you'll see with the staggered start is that the one rocket will start early and you'll see the fire come up the one side of that one rocket. And then the other two start up two seconds later and the fireball isn't nearly as high visually. So what I'm hearing is that this fireball and the charring on the side of the vehicle, really it's all expected. Yes, uh, we, the, the rocket is designed in such a way that we apply cork on the bottom end of the rocket, which is very resilient, and then the foam along the cryogenic tanks. They're all designed in such a way that, that with the thickness and the charring that it protects the rocket itself from the environment. So I know with the Delta IV Heavy, we tend to run a little fuel rich. Does that tend to contribute anything to the fireball? Uh, not necessarily. So a hydrogen rocket, you'll tend to, due to the way the math works out, you want to go a little bit fuel rich. What we're seeing on the rocket is mostly uh, hydrogen that we've uh, introduced first in order to chill the hardware prior to starting up and spinning up the pumps. And uh, that flame is really an open air flame, not necessarily one that's mixed with liquid oxygen. So was the staggered start ultimately effective in doing what you wanted it to? Yeah, it was quite effective. Uh, we actually ended up getting, uh, pretty much as we predicted, an environment pretty similar to a medium rocket or a single, single uh, booster rocket. Um, and uh, the results you can see actually on an L-65 mission where we had the char layer essentially go down. Well, Chris, I really appreciate you taking some time to talk to me today. It's really interesting to hear more about what causes the big fireball at liftoff as well as what staggered start has to do with it. So uh, thanks again for coming out to talk with me. Happy to help.